So one of the major questions regarding internet voting is really the question on whether it's an inclusive form of uh, electoral participation or exclusive. And as you know, in Estonia, since um, internet voting was introduced in 2005, um, only about 2% of all votes that were cast were actually cast online. So that amounts to about every 50th uh, voter uh, uh, overall. Now that number has increased substantially, uh, reaching uh, one third of all votes cast online since uh, 2014 European Parliament elections. Um, but that in its own right does not really mean that internet voting is uh, inclusive. It just tells you that the share, has, the share of e-voters in the society has, has um, increased substantially. Now in our research we've tried to disentangle the problem and, and figure out uh, whether uh, internet voting has diffused in the society. And indeed what we have shown um, is that when a certain set of characteristics like age, education, um, computer literacy were extremely significantly uh, related to the likelihood of voting online as opposed to voting uh, offline, um, these variables over time has, have gradually lost their explanatory powers and uh, for the past two elections our empirical models basically fail to distinguish e-voters from the rest, meaning that the characteristics that explained internet voting uh, in, in their early days have completely lost their statistical significance um, and uh, magnitude in terms of effects, which suggests and provides a very comprehensive empirical evidence to the fact that electronic voting has diffused in the society and that it has um, really managed to provide a technological bridge to engage citizens uh, across uh, the entire society, meaning that, that the chances to vote online are equally the same uh, for the young and the old, the educated and the less educated, uh, those living in urban areas and rural areas which is exactly what you want to see from the, from the um, policy making point of view, but as well as from the citizens point of view. Um, and this kind of uh, subsequently tells you that technology, uh, new voting technology in its sense is much more inclusive that has been uh, theorized and afraid in the past and that is really inclusive uh, instead. Estonian internet voting um, does not really face uh, major challenges in the Estonian society because there are very firm safeguards from the institutional perspective as well as the user's um, kind of personal data perspective, uh, legal frameworks and, and, and etc. that ensure the reliability of internet voting. And one has to bear in mind always that internet voting is a substitutive form of voting. You can always, if you're not happy with internet voting, you can always go uh, back to the conventional uh, mode of voting. Estonia has to share their experience with internet voting with other countries because, um, and it doesn't relate really to internet voting in its own right, but the entire ecosystem of Estonian public e-services is the fact that this country works as a, as a little hub where you can experiment, where you can allow making mistakes and then correct for them so that other countries can actually learn from those um, experiences and implement public key services in their own uh, realities. And moreover, this um, experience that we have here would provide a tangible estimate on what would happen on a counterfactual situation uh, had some other country um, an opportunity to implement uh, similar setup of, uh, of services and transfer the conventional uh, services into digital realm.